So like, I know this isn't the exact costume he was wearing, but just looking at this figure pose like this is really giving me those Arkham Asylum vibes. I don't know why. Just a friendly reminder from your boy Animated Heroes, don't forget to check out my boys at Sculptimo Toys for the best figures, best prices, and fastest shipping if you guys haven't already. Let's get into it. What the heck is up you guys, Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review for you and as you can see today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, I'm guessing this is the new 52 design, Batman. And I decided to save the best for last. I'm super stoked for this figure. So let's go ahead and get into that sexy packaging so that we can dive right into the figure itself. Now for the sexy packaging, it's nothing we haven't already seen. It's literally the same packaging that I've already reviewed five times now. We got 22 moving parts at the top. McFarlane Toys, ages 12 and up. Batman right here through the window packaging. The face looks a little wonky. I'm hoping I'll like it a little bit more after I get it out. But um, we got DC Multiverse Batman right there at the bottom. Right here on the side, we got Batman Detective Comics 1000 Multiverse right down there. Or McFarlane Toys Multiverse up here. All the stuff at the bottom that does not matter just says Batman DC. Multiverse McFarlane toys right here and then of course on the back we got the rest of the figures that come in the wave we've got the car that comes with Batman which looks sick and then lastly we've got all of McFarlane toys social media at the bottom so if you're looking for them that's where you go now I'm gonna do everything I can in my power not to be biased with this review but it being Batman you guys already know how I feel him being my favorite hero and all and straight out of the packaging, I got to say, in terms of looks, sculpt, detail, and paint, this figure is a solid for me. I have no issues so far. I haven't messed with the articulation or anything, but just in terms of looks, I don't have any issues. They painted it nicely. I don't have any paint bleeding anywhere. Nothing is like seeping off onto the other colors. The detail is there. You got extra sculpting in the tights right there. The bat logo. Now, this is what I really like. I love when they go with the bigger bat logo design. I don't know why, but once Ben Affleck became Batman, I really just started liking that look. The face isn't the best, but it's not bad at all, like I said. And um, even the flow of the cape looks nice to me. And I like how it's not like this solid dark black. It's weird, but there's like hints of blue in it. Like, it's not completely jet black. And it just looks nice. And also the sculpt of the belt. McFarlane did a phenomenal job on this. And as you can see, it's all the way around. Like, I really dig the way that looks. The yellow looks a bit bland because it has no shading on it. But of course, it's a $20 figure. And that's not going to bother me at all. But it does look nice. So, like... That's all I got to say about this guy straight out of the package. Like, first impressions on me, solid. Let's go ahead and put him back and see how tall he stands. Now, to the top of his head, Batman stands right at 7 inches. To the top of his ears, he's closer to 7 and a half. So, of course, he's a tall figure. That was already to be expected. I'm pretty sure he's going to fit in very well with the other figures in the line. And, of course, I will be doing size comparisons a little bit later. Now for his articulation, he looks up about that much, which is good enough for me. I just like the fact that he can look up. He looks down not very far, but it's just, of course, how they have the head made. So that is to be expected. His chin is like going to tuck in right at the neck, so you're not going to get him looking down too much. His arms go out about that much and the cape of course will come over it so you don't have to worry about it just like hindering it it's just gonna look a little weird because i know some people like this piece being tucked behind it doesn't really bother me that much he does have a butterfly joint it looks like they're not effective let's see here yeah these things are definitely stuck wait there we go got it Yep, not very effective, but they do help him just a little bit as far as bringing his arms forward. Not the best, but it's still cool that they included it. He does have bicep swivel, of course, double-jointed elbows. His hands are on the standard 
McFarlane wrist peg and they move around very well. He does have a diaphragm joint. He leans back only about that much, not very much at all actually. He leans forward about that much. He does have a waist swivel. This one is very tight, so be careful with that. As you guys can see, it's like barely wanting to move. Always, always, always work these in. His foot goes forward that much, great. His foot goes back about that much, can't complain. His, oh, he can do a full freaking split. Like this is 1000% split. So that's one thing you don't have to worry about. He's gonna be able to do some kicks for sure. He does have a thigh swivel. This is a thigh swivel. On the other ones, it's just kind of eh a little bit, but this is a freaking thigh swivel. Just watch how you pose it because you will see the inside engineering. But yes, he has a thigh swivel. He does have double jointed knees that work very well. His foot is on a hinge, goes down about that much, up about that much. Of course, has the super ankle rocker. And then he does have a toe hinge as well. So articulation wise, it's a pass for me, baby. I cannot complain. Now, as far as accessories go, this is where things get a bit lackluster with this figure. When it comes to hands, the only two that you get are the ones that you see on him right now, which are just two pair of gripping hands. It sucks. It would have been great if he came with at least two pair of fists, but he doesn't. Now, for his other accessories, you do get his back grappler, which is pretty cool looking. I really like how they did the accessory. I just think it would have benefited from a little bit of black wash. Of course, it's a $20 figure, but it would have made this piece right here all the better. And he also comes with just a standard Batarang. It looks like, it looks more like Robin's Batarang. It's more like a bird than a bat, but the sculpt on it, it's just like flat. There's no really sculpting to it other than just sculpting the edges and then painting it so it's not a whole lot to it it's not very dynamic but it is cool and i think it'll look nice in photos he does come with his card which is sick i actually like this a lot you can see joker on there scarecrow killer croc riddler you got alfred in the back and nightwing they're all in the back cave i don't know what comic this is from if you do know please let me know like i said in the comments and of course you got a little bit of information on batman if you do want to read that pause now and lastly he comes with his stand which every single one of these figures comes with it's just like a black circle you got a peg right there for the foot and then you got dc at the bottom so yeah in terms of accessories lacking a little bit but i can make it work now in case you're like me and you hate the fact that he doesn't come with two pair of fist hands and you had the idea to do this i want to say it's not going to work this is the fist from the animated series Batman. You guys can see it's on there, but it just slides right off. That is not going to plug in, and you can literally just spin that around. So it is not going to work, unfortunately, guys. You won't be able to change to fist hands on this guy by using parts from the other Batman figure. Now for some size comparisons, here he is standing next to the Batman, the animated series, McFarlane Toys Batman, which I just reviewed. Check that out if you haven't already. And the DC Icons New 52 Batman, which I really hope McFarlane makes a Batman based off this design because that's going to be sick. Next up here he is standing next to the McFarlane Toys Classic Comic Book Outfit Superman, the McFarlane Toys Classic Comic Book Outfit Harley Quinn, and lastly, the DC Bombshells Harley Quinn, which I think that this Batman scales a little bit better with than the McFarlane one. Now, one thing I also noticed just looking at these two, Batman and Superman, Superman makes the head on Batman look extremely small, which is weird. It, it kind of throws off my proportions. I don't know. You guys look at it and tell me what you think. Now, in case you guys still have engaged how tall this figure is, here he is standing next to the tallest figures in the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball line, the SH Figure Arts Full Power Dragon Ball Super Broly, and the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Super Boo. Now, next up, here he is standing right here next to the Mattel Classic Comic Book Robin. And the reason that I put him next to Robin is because I actually think that these two figures, despite their height differences, do scale very well together, especially if you pose them properly. I don't think that Batman's too terribly tall, just in case you want to get your mix up on. Now, after posing this guy next to the Superman, I did realize that the head was a little bit too small. Proportion-wise, it doesn't really match up to the body. 
but it's not extremely noticeable. So that's the only issue I have with this figure, to be honest with you guys, because in terms of paint, sculpt, detail, articulation, this figure is 100% for me. I really do like it. This cowl coming down over the shoulders doesn't really bother me. He could have benefited from a pair of fist hands, yes. But other than that, I mean, I have no issues with the figure. He poses well. He looks nice. The face isn't too terribly bad. It's not one that it actually bothers me. I can see some people doing head swaps and modifications. Whatever you want to do, it's your figures. Anything to make you satisfied. But with me, I'm just giving you guys my 100% answer. I absolutely love this figure. Not only do I love this figure, but it's probably one of my favorite favorite Batman figures. I'm going to be posing this guy around a lot. You will be seeing him in photos. So that is my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon. And lastly, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with the rest of my content. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and take it easy. Peace.